Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Rochelle's Creative Dishes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment today. And comment. As you can see, guys, I am dressed down today. I'm going to make a brunch item. So it's going to be an everything waffle. And it's a savory dish that you can maybe have for brunch, lunch, or dinner, right? And so I'm going to pair it with some bacon and salmon. It's very different, but let's get into it, okay? So I've already have all the ingredients here. I have some bacon, tomatoes, jalapenos, um, some chives and fresh parsley. And I'm not making my waffle um, fresh now. This is an already made mix. We're just not gonna do that today. And you know, when you make your waffle, you wanna get in and out the kitchen, like I tell you guys all the time. So let's make this waffle batter savory. Let me show you the first step that we're going to do. However, wait. So I did get this everything bagel seasoning from Aldi. So you can pick up one from anywhere. And this is what you're going to use for the waffle, okay? So first I'm going to add some oil to this waffle batter. And then I should have had some water already. However, I'm gonna add some water to it. Okay. Just gonna make sure I um, get all the lumps out of it real quick before I start um, adding the other ingredients. So I really just came up with this idea last night, y'all. I was thinking like, you know what? I love um, a lox bagel, everything with the, I mean, a, yeah, a lox bagel with the everything um, seasoning on it. And so I was like, you know what? Let me try that in a waffle. So here we go. And I'm sure that you guys are going to love this creative recipe if you are following Rochelle's creative dishes, okay? So let me get this batter together. What I'm gonna start doing now, I'm gonna add my everything seasoning. Okay, let me show you how that's looking. Okay. Gonna have my everything seasoning. And then I'm going to add, you can add whatever seasoning that you like. Like I said, this is gonna be savory. So if you want to do a Cajun um, seasoning to it or you're gonna put some garlic powder or whatever it is some fresh thyme rosemary you just want it to be savory however the um everything bagel seasoning is very good anyway y'all see me putting lemon pepper in this waffle right but it's gonna be good so i'm gonna put the chives and parsley in here chives and fresh parsley gonna give it a good stir and I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna put this to the side while I work on the salmon, okay? So that's pretty much all you have to do for that. I'll make the waffle in a minute. All right, so I'm gonna set that to the side. I'm going to turn my eye up so I can make my salmon. And like I, I'm going to use a Cajun blend on the salmon, all right? And then I'm going to use the lavender lemon pepper and I like to cook my, um, my salmon on top of the stove first and then put it in the oven for a few minutes to just get, um, to cook it on broil. All right, so I'm just gonna wait till this get heated. I'm gonna put a little bit more on the top. Cause I like um, my salmon to get like a perfect sear on the top. So, Y'all, I'm gonna add a little bit of this uh, infused brown sugar on top of the salmon. Just a little bit. I need to put a lot in it, because I want to be infused too. <laughs> okay, so while well, I sit that to the side, I'm going to add a little olive oil to the pan. Right, drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. And then I'm going to take my tongs. It should be, the pan should be hot now. I'm going to take my tongs and I'm going to cook it face Cook it down like this first. I don't think it's that hot, but we're gonna go, oh, excuse me, let me fix my hair. I don't need y'all talking about me. But my mama was talking about me. Like, girl, move your hair. I know all my episodes I've had braids, but we move my hair, so I'm gonna just cook it down like that. And you wanna just let that cook for maybe about five to seven minutes. 
maybe not that long. Don't quote me on that. Okay, I just wanna make sure that it has a nice sear. Then I'm gonna turn it over and let the skin get a nice crispiness and then I'm gonna put it in the oven for 15 minutes, okay? Not 15, maybe 10. <laughs> they gonna say, I want you to get your times together, Chef Rochelle. As y'all see, I don't really, I'm sorry, like I really don't like, I use a timer sometimes, but it's kind of like I'm so used to doing it that I just know what I'm doing. But for my like new cookers and beginners, I'm gonna slow down and show you guys. Work with your girl, okay? Okay guys, so I'm gonna give the salmon a, a look to see how it's looking on it. So I like my salmon to look like this before it goes in the oven, okay? So just a nice sear. So I'm gonna put that back down. Check on the other one. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it over now because I don't want it to get any darker than that. And then I'm going to add just a little bit more olive oil so the skin can kind of get a little crispy to the bottom before I put it in the oven. And I'm gonna spray just a little butter. Look, this butter really comes in handy. Like, you don't have to always use the stick. You can just go ahead and just boop, 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 boop. boop. I know that's my favorite little thing there. Okay. All right. And so once the salmon is done, I'm gonna go and go ahead and start our um, jalapeno bacon syrup. And so for that, I'm going to use this um, maple, in, maple, it's a maple syrup, but it's infused with vanilla. I really like this. You can pick this up from Walmart. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys just how to make a quick little you know, bacon syrup, bacon jalapeno syrup. Okay, so I'm gonna take our, sal our salmon and put it in the oven. Just gonna take it there. And you don't have to really do too much to the salmon. I'm just gonna put it in the oven just like this. Like I said, it already has a nice sear on the top. And I like to make my salmon, I like to keep it, I guess you would call it like medium well. So I like to keep it a little flaky, a little flavorful. So if I want it to go back and cook it, it's not like, I mean, warm it up that it's not super dry. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead with our bacon. I'm gonna put that in the pan. Just right in the same pan. Okay, so while the bacon is cooking down, I'm going to, um, Go ahead to the waffle. And you want your bacon to get real crispy with this, um, with the syrup that I'm gonna make. So I want it to get real crispy. So I'm gonna let this cook for another five to 10 minutes, okay? Okay guys, so I'm going to check on our waffle because it's showing that it is ready. Let's see how it's looking. Ah! Oh, it's looking perfect. Okay, so let me get this open. And I always like to just kind of flip it over. Even though I know that it is browning on the other side, I like to flip it over just to give it another little spray. And just for a few more minutes because the other side is a little crispier, so. Okay, so while that's doing that, I just, just remember, only a few minutes. So I'm gonna start our um, syrup. So I'm gonna start with just a teaspoon of butter, a stick of, well, yeah, a table teaspoon of butter, okay? And then we're going to take um, our vanilla infused syrup. I'm gonna pour that in there. And you can use any type of maple syrup, but if you get this kind from Walmart, it is really good. I, I really like it. Okay, so as you can see, it's all bubbling. We're gonna take a little bit of this infused brown sugar. Ooh, somebody's gonna be sleeping good tonight, period. Three shades of green. I'll tell y'all about that later, okay? So while that's cooking, we're gonna add the jalapenos to that. And then we're gonna add the bacon, okay? So with that, with this particular um, brunch item, you really don't need like a lot of syrup. It's one of those brunch items that you just wanna just drizzle because you wanna taste the flavors of the salmon and you wanna taste the flavor of this amazing creative waffle. 
So you just want something that just the drills are on top, not too much, okay? I don't think it's one of those uh, breakfast, uh, I mean brunch items that you need to like saturate it and serve, okay? All right guys, so the waffles have came out. I've already plated it. When I tell you, this right here is, <laughs> this right here is so good. Our salmon, salmon is done. I like my salmon flaky y'all, very tender in the middle. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. You see how flaky this is? It's real moist, not too hard, it is perfect. Okay guys, so check out this brunch item. As you can see, it is laid out so pretty. This is an everything waffle topped with salmon and bacon. I really want somebody to make this recipe. Make it, tag, I mean, um, yeah, tag me, hashtag RCD, and also Good Food Changes the Mood, and I will see you guys next time.